So if you don't know who Spencer Foreman is, where where have you been? Spencer is amazing. Um, he is a regular on a number of different podcasts and is always one to share what he's learned on his YouTube channel. He's an accomplished entrepreneur and business consultant based in Chicago. With over 17 years of experience in the tech industry and WordPress, Spencer has really established himself as a leading expert in the area of entrepreneurship, marketing automation, sales strategy, and business growth. He's the founder and CEO of several WordPress companies, including WP Launchify, Launch Flows, and WP Launch Club. Um, he is a friend. I can call him a friend. You're a friend, aren't you? I need to hire you personally as my PR person, Kathy. That was, that was a great introduction. I'd like to keep that recording. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Good morning. Welcome from Chicago. Nice. How's the weather in Chicago? Is it getting it's warmer? Nice and, uh, it's nice and gloomy here. That's why I have this very uh, <laughs> unfortunate lighting. But uh, if you like the kind of nuclear radiation of the white screen and the dark on top, this is going to be perfect. But we're going to focus <laughs> today on, we're going to mostly look at the slides today and I'm going to talk over it. Amazing. Great. Well, I am going to show myself out and give you the floor. I will be back for Q&A just in a bit. If you guys have questions, just pop them in the chat. I can star them in our little system here. And so we can get that question answered for you at the end. So don't like you don't feel like you have to hold them. I'll make sure you get your uh, questions uh, to Spencer. And we were going to have a, a great session. So I am going to show myself the door and sit back with my coffee and take in all of this knowledge. Thanks for being here, Spencer. Thanks for having me. I'll see you soon. Uh, good morning, everybody. I appreciate it. And I know Kathy assured me because I just had a live event yesterday where I forgot to turn on the slides. Somebody's, there we go. Somebody's going to manage the slides for me. Today, I'm going to talk to you about how to launch profitable membership sites in minutes with Cadence. And I'm going to give you a little backstory how I got here, but I don't have to sell any of you guys on the value of using a unified theme and block system in 2023 with WordPress because I've been here since the beginning. I've been here since 2006, and this seems like forever it's taken us to get to the place where there is finally somebody covering essentially the whiteboard upon which we build all this WordPress stuff. So having said that, let's dive in. I really encourage you guys to ask questions because I'm gonna approach today from a more high level approach. I'm not gonna go into the little details about how to set stuff up, because at the end, I'm going to give you a link to a live demo of what I'm talking about, as well as the fact I encourage all of you to have a free call with me. My business has been built on using WordPress as a service since day one, and that's never been more true than today for anybody who wants to build as a freelancer or as an agency or even for their own business. Let's do this. If you have not met me before, I am Spencer Foreman, and uh, thanks again for Kathy's giving me that great introduction. But basically, I could consider myself a lifelong entrepreneur and a marketer. And since I've been 10 years old, I've been focused on the idea of finding the pain, solving the pain for myself, becoming very curious about how that works, and then selling that solution to other people. And so through a number of other careers and professions, including law and real estate and otherwise, I've maintained a number of businesses. And WordPress has always been fascinating since day one because of the ownership, the control, and now the fact that we've got all these amazing tools built into one spot. So I know you're here because you're fans or you're interested in Cadence, so I'm not going to have to sort of preach to the choir on this, but there's been so much flea market-like approach that I'm going to get into between competing interests in the third-party realm. Today, I'm going to show you why you can just avoid all of that and go right to your solution. I bet many of you will resonate with this slide. Are you struggling to launch a profitable membership site or sites if you're doing it for your clients? And there's maybe two big ones that I always refer to at WPLaunchify.com in my consulting business, but I've added two other ones that I was just referring to. First one, are you building Frankenstein monsters? That means, are you putting together a random variety of things from different generations of WordPress into something that is just frightening to yourself, your clients, your uh, partners, and maybe the townspeople want to get rid of? Second of all, if you are an entrepreneur like myself, I'll bet you have shiny ball syndrome. Everything looks good. Oh, ooh, 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 I got to put this and this and this and this. But really, if you think about it, maybe less would be better the WordPress flea market. This one is near and dear to my heart on the politics of WordPress. I'm an outspoken person because 
I feel like somebody has to be the kid in the Emperor's New Clothes story talking about what's going on from the top down. Well, we're not going to get into politics today, but I can say that Cadence, Cadence Blocks, and using this to launch membership sites means you can simply skip all of that. And the whole flea market approach where everybody's like, hey, over here, come over here, use my thing, use my thing, and just stick with this very small seven ingredient formula. And then outdated advice. Listen, there was a time when horses pulled wagons and that was the state of the art for how you got around. Then we had gas powered cars. And hey, I'm a kid of the 60s and 70s. I loved working on carburetors and all the stuff that went with it. But now we have electric vehicles more modern, less parts. They just do the job and you snap stuff in, snap stuff out. Similarly, there's lots of qualified implementers, maybe even you in the WordPress space, but you're trying to mix the horse onto the gas car attached to the back of your electric car. And that's just not how you're going to be successful. And your clients are going to be getting a disservice from you if you try to do that. So why are we here today? Let's start with cadence. Cadence is essentially the thing that's going to act as the whiteboard, the billboard for whatever you're building. And that includes Cadence theme, Cadence blocks, and lots of the accessories that may or may not be interesting to you, but you can add very selectively. And the whole point here is that you actually only need a few features to be successful with building a membership site. And there's going to be some controversy coming up. Trust me, you're not going to do it with some of the things you thought you should be using. And you're not gonna be doing it with some of the things from a previous generation because that's the horse and the wagon attached to the gas car attached to the electric car. We're just going all modern. From here forward, this is a new way of building and it's something that has not only been proven for me on thousands of clients already, but Cadence and Cadence Blocks makes it possible to put in the other components as features including my own launch flows plugin for customizing the sales funnels and the automation and more. So I find there's three common mistakes that people make in general when they're trying to do these membership sites, maybe because of the mindset of Frankenstein monster or shiny ball. Number one, using a membership plugin when you really don't need one. Number two, selling memberships, but you're not using WooCommerce. Let me pause. WooCommerce is a plugin that should be in the core of WordPress. That's it, I've said it, throw rocks, throw tomatoes. But the free plugin of WooCommerce has so many features into it and it is supported by so many people and it connects like Velcro to so many other things that if you are not using WooCommerce to sell your memberships, you are doing yourself an enormous disservice. We'll get to that more. And then finally, you're onboarding members but you're not using marketing automation. Back in the day when I was a kid and a young adult, we didn't have computers, we didn't have cell phones. We had a store that you walked into and there was a fishbowl and you put your business card in there because the store owner said they would pull one of those cards out every month and give away something for free. But what they were really doing was tracking who came into the store and then talking to the person. And if they were smart, they would make notes about, oh, the Spencer guy, like the brown jacket, or he wanted this kind of uh, cassette tape or something, so they could later know when you came back, here's something you really want. And that's what marketing automation does. And if you're not using it and you don't know what I'm talking about, hang in there because this is essential to how this whole modern membership site in minutes works. So let's dive into the first one. You're using a membership plugin when you don't need one. I have Lots of friends in the WordPress community, because I've been here since day one, who make plugins that are a horse pulling a wagon or a 454 V8, you know, gas powered engine. And those folks have amazing audiences of loyal customers for years. But I'm sorry, we're in the world of electrics. There is no need when you're using WooCommerce and the automation and the things I'm going to show you to have a membership plugin because there's no features or functions left for it to do. I'll talk about it in, in, in greater detail, but the onboarding and the transactional happens at WooCommerce. The actual tracking of the user and the protection happens, happens at the CRM and the tag level and so forth. So membership plugin, ironically, should not be used inside of a modern membership site. I said it. 
selling memberships but not using WooCommerce. That kind of goes hand in hand with this point I just made. In this modern seven item recipe, you will end up with a better solution that is foundational to anything you wanna do and you will not be stuck with the problem of a membership plugin or selling through some other thing other than WooCommerce. And that is you have one situation out of a hundred where the unique little plugin or the unique transactional engine doesn't work universally. And then the whole entire setup has to be rethunk from the beginning. It's like building a high rise where, oh, I didn't realize people needed a toilet on the 99th floor. I'll have to tear the whole thing down to the ground because the plumbing stack has to go from the ground up. And then finally, onboarding members to your site without using marketing automation is like running a store in the old days without a fishbowl. Everybody who comes and goes is a stranger. There's very little chance you're going to know what they want in the future, who they are, what they're doing. And in an ironic way, marketing automation is actually the new analytics. We've all seen in the news that Google Analytics and Google in general has a lot of political problems with the fact that you can't know as the owner of the site any of the real good information about who just came to visit you. They do. <laughs> Ironically, they take it and they track the heck out of people and use it to present ads. But you as the site owner get an anonymous visitor from some weird random location somewhere in North America visited. Well, guess what? With marketing automation, whether it's a cold lead, a warm prospect, an actual customer, you know Spencer Foreman just showed up again, and he likes yellow, he's from Chicago, he bought my course, he needs this upsell. That's the kind of information that gives you the kind of data about where your business is at, your marketing automation is at, your membership is at, your subscriptions are at, and more. So there's three steps to a successful membership site. And using this recipe I'm gonna talk about where there's seven ingredients, they basically go under three concepts. Number one, we are not using framework plugins anymore. I kind of referenced this. In the old days, the chisel and a hammer days of WordPress, I was there, yes I was. I taught people how to build websites from scratch with HTML, CSS, PHP, some JavaScript in those days, not as much jQuery. And we had to literally carve it out of concrete like stone tablets. Well, that was the day, uh, an amazing day, when people came along with all-in-one plugins. This plugin will sell your stuff and control your stuff and change your roles and modify the look and feel and do all these things amazing because we didn't have that before. But that's the horse and buggy. If you use a framework plugin, you are committing your entire foundation to one plugin that is built in a vacuum at a certain point in time versus a Lego set or Ikea furniture where you can snap in something today that Spence has guaranteed will keep it open in the future, built on Cadence, Cadence blocks. And in the future, if you wanna snap out and snap in something new, no problem. So plugins as features, not as frameworks, one per feature, each doing its best job. Second, mechanics first, design second. And I'm gonna go through the individual slides with this. And third, sales funnels, not shops. So we kind of talked about this, so I jumped the slide, but the one feature per plugin is we're not going to use a membership plugin. We're gonna sell with WooCommerce. We're going to track and control the user's journey and access to protected content using the metaphor show and tell time of tags with our CRM. Spence saw this, clicked this, did this, bought this, still has a subscription. This on the user connected to my contact profile in the CRM gives full control and visibility as well as triggering whatever automations that the site owner wants to keep me interested in upsells and other things going on that personalize the journey to me specifically versus everybody else who walked into that store and put their card in the fishbowl. The mechanics first, design second. I know this is a little ironic because we're here at Cadence, but you know, Cadence and in, in the theme in the block is the whiteboard onto which you're gonna hang your other stuff. So members don't care. <laughs> I can say after 40,000 plus clients in 17 years, members don't care what color your banner is that much, or if you have a little frilly design thing, or if you have a little doily in the corner. They want the content that they paid for. So get them the content in as clean and simple a way as possible. You can make it pretty later after they start giving you the cha-ching, the money. 
prove the content is valuable by having people pay you with their credit cards immediately. And then you can work on making it prettier or working on improving it. Use the Cadence starter templates. One of the most amazing breakthroughs that happened for me when I was doing with launch flows is that we basically were wandering in the desert looking for which of these theme and plugin combos in the early days of Gutenberg might work. And unfortunately, well, not unfortunately, but at the time I decided, eh, I'm ignoring it all. I'm going to Elementor. My friend Verdi Hines was over there. There's a lot of friendly folks over there. At the time, Elementor was leading the pack before the Gutenberg train came into the station. And at that time, Elementor offered the same things that now we can get natively inside of the WordPress editor with Gutenberg, but with the simplicity and the unification of using Cadence and Cadence blocks. And we don't need that extra layer. The starter templates are the big bonus to that because now that you've got that, I just put in the standard press one button, launch the site with everything already set up using our launch kit. And then I just switch the starter template. I go to a different setup, a different color, a different path, whatever I need, it's already there. And then the client says, well, I'm gonna give you my logo or maybe I have, I take them over to Canva and in five minutes we make a new logo, done. And that's it. So mechanics first, sell it then come back and use the starter templates, the other amazing you know, capabilities of Cadence to store different color schemes as a JSON file and so forth. All right, and then sales funnels, not shops. Same thing, if you've ever been, I know you have been to the Home Depot. I used to build houses and I was a residential landlord and a developer. I spent every day at the Home Depot wandering the aisles, looking for this part and that part, or like the WordPress flea market. I love to go to farmer's markets and flea markets and wander around. Who knows what you're going to get? Who's going to shout at me today about what they're offering? That doesn't work. What customers today want are solutions where you control the journey. You personalize an offer and you make it easier for them to buy more. What does that mean in comparison to the Home Depot? Well, imagine I have a crystal ball and I know that this particular customer has, I don't know, a toilet at home that's broken. And before they even come to my shop, I prepared a kit, which is the toilet repair kit and a toilet upgrade kit and all the things they'll need with instructions and a video and a service package. And I put it in a box. And when they showed up, I came out my orange vest and said, hey, Spence, just let me ring your card and I'll put this kit in the back of your trunk. And by the way, I could come over and help you install it if you want, but everything you need is already in the box ready to go because I knew you. I had a relationship with you. I met you when you were a cold lead, became a warm prospect, and now I know what you want and it's in the box. So you don't have to go wandering the aisles of my store hoping to find what you want and getting really frustrated because what you really wanted was just a, a functional bathroom. That's what sales funnels do. That's what marketing automation delivers in a membership site. So let's jump to the ingredients, okay? Seven ingredients for successful membership sites. Cadence theme, Cadence blocks, WooCommerce and WooCommerce subscriptions if you have a something other than a one-time payment, which I think you should. Then you have the stuff, the LMS, the events, the Buddy Boss, the Zoom, right? Um, you're gonna have launch flows. There are other sales funnels plugins, but I'm gonna make it clear why launch flows is a better choice for the situation that I'm describing. WP Fusion is a plugin that I have direct inter, uh, interaction with on a regular basis for the last five and a half years with Jack Arturo because that's the USB connector that makes all of the parts work together and connects to the final bit, which is your favorite CRM. Could be an external CRM, anything from a Salesforce, HubSpot, Infusionsoft, Drip, MailChimp, to an internal one like a Fluent CRM, which for most of you is actually the way I'm gonna recommend you go. So, Cadence theme. Hey, we know what Cadence theme is up to. It's the whiteboard, it's the base features, it's the structural container that holds everything. And we use the magic of the starter template so we don't waste a bunch of time getting to the money. Show me the money. We can get a site out with one button push and you can go with the client, show them the results of the mechanics and they're like, whoa, I want that. And we all know how powerful it is when you have a fully working example. Let me pause and tell you a story. Back in the vintage days of WordPress, uh, the little, little shop known as Envato showed up. And in those days, what happened was uh, 
the Tad brothers had the idea that you can have a marketplace for all these tchotchkes for, you know, things like themes. Well, it was amazing, except here's what happened. In those days, the demos took the author weeks and months to set up. And then when you went and saw how amazing it was, you're like, I want that. And then when you got it home and you opened the box, it was 10,000 parts and pieces. And even if you use the JSON file to import the demo, it didn't have your products, it didn't have your images, you had to change all that stuff. So it took you forever, almost like when I was a kid building model airplanes, to piece it all together. Those days are over, my friends. We are one button away from solutions. And that's one of the things that my business is focused on. And I'm an advocate in, in the WordPress space today, 2023. WAS, WordPress as a service. Deliver solutions, get the client's pain point solved immediately for money. Don't worry about all the toys because you only need this one recipe stored in the freezer to solve everything. Cadence blocks. Works together like peanut butter and chocolate, right? Cadence blocks work together as a unified theme. So when you're building stuff, by knowing that you've got this underlying whiteboard with the cadence theme, and now you've got the mechanical sort of the grid work, the structure that you can do with cadence blocks, you can build all kinds of reusable block patterns. You can use reusable blocks if you want to have like one thing that you change and it changes everywhere versus a pattern where you have something that's like, I can do five different versions of this as simple as pressing a button. You can copy and reuse the styles. One of the best things that Ben brought out in this last 3.0 version was the advanced ability to have custom style controls. But then if you see something you like, you go, yeah, I want that. Press copy style, go to the new version of it, paste the style. Don't spend all day futzing around. I'm going to tell you another story. Yesterday, I was working with a vintage client and a designer friend who I taught the value of WordPress, and he's been killing it with his high-end customers with Elementor. However, he remembers when I sold him on the original idea of what we're talking about, having Elementor, because Gutenberg wasn't ready. And he's back into the mix with me, learning about cadence, cadence blocks, and so forth. But yesterday, I worked on a current site, which is a high-end automotive client, uh, tens of millions of dollars of sales through this site, nothing to do with the design. But the point is, we had to go back and change stuff with Elementor. I have to say it was painful. It was painful because once you get used to working at the page builder level of the core editor and you see it right there without having to bounce into multiple embedded screens because we were using some add-ons, uh, very good add-ons, but add-ons for Elementor, Elementor Pro. It's like a Matryoshka doll. You have to go from the base to the in, 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 Cadence is flat. It's all there and you use the patterns, the blocks, and the mechanics of the other components with marketing automation. Okay, WooCommerce and subscriptions. I can go into more details in the Q&A, but you're gonna use WooCommerce and WooCommerce subscriptions because it is the universal thing, like I said, at the same level as the core of WordPress. And from that standpoint, you are just killing yourself if you just don't give into using it because it attaches to everything. It works with all third-party services, including tools like Mitoric, for high-end clients who want to see their churn rate, they want one of those boilerplate dashboards of how's the business doing and dive in right to the customer. WooCommerce makes that happen. You can register and log in somebody to immediately begin tracking them, their journey with tags, and then responding to it with sales funnels through launch flows. It works with everything. You get the sales funnels, you get the registration login, and you get a gigantic bonus bag of goodies that can be added for free or as snippets. Plus, there must be hundreds of thousands of experts beside myself in WooCommerce because it's been around since day one. And that is what you are wanting to use. You don't want to use that cute little plugin that was the membership plugin with its own unique connection to Stripe because then that is going to be the entire pinch point of your high rise development. And the day will come on the 99th floor where everybody's ready to close up the project and they go, oh, that one plugin doesn't do what we needed to do for everything else. Now you got to gut the whole project and start over. Do yourself a favor and stick with WooCommerce, WooCommerce subscriptions. The tchotchkes, the things you're selling, learning management, learn dash, events, the events calendar, events tickets plus, buddy boss, if you're doing social networking, first person calls with Zoom, you might have an external service like a Calendly or something. You're selling the access to the content or yourself with WooCommerce. 
you're tracking and controlling the access from the point of first meeting the person as a cold lead through a warm prospect, through a, a sale, through a recurring sale with tags, and you're unifying everything. And this is the best part. By using the WooCommerce My Account Area as the unified dashboard, along with the other components, you just have one beautiful dashboard, it's in the demo link, that allows everything to be logical to the buyer. Imagine you built a gorgeous health club, spent millions of dollars, spent more than millions of dollars on marketing it to get people to come there. They walk into the lobby of this amazing, beautiful place. What do you want them to have? You want one desk with a very nice smiling person there saying, would you like the pool, the bike, the Pelotons, the, the exercise equipment? What do you want? I can offer it to you all from here in one spot. And if you get lost, come back here and I'll give you a pass or directions or we'll walk you around the club. That is what you want versus I've got a LMS dashboard and a Buddy Boss dashboard and I've got a, a, a Zoom events dashboard here or a, a ticket thing here. Each of those separate components have lots of capabilities. And what we show you to do is to not use a good majority of them. For example, Learn Dash is our favorite choice in many cases for a, a person wanting to control access to the content or for organizing it. We don't do the normal course pages in Learn Dash. Instead, we just focus on here's the course sold with the WooCommerce integration, tagged, and we just put it into focus mode. We don't sell with Learn Dash pages because that's great for somebody who doesn't have this system or wants an all-in-one plugin like, you know, from the early days. And I understand why those things are still there because Justin built that plugin back when we were all riding around on wagons. But today we just want to use the fact that you have a course that can be sold and put into the main dashboard. So somebody goes back to that main dashboard in the My Account area and knows what else is available. Super powerful, super good for making more sales, happier customers, and less churn. Launch Flows is the sales funnel, funnel, the sales funnel plugin that I write inspired by some of the early adopters, uh, including cart flows into the space where I was brought in to help uh, answer questions and do some other things. But I realized that what the other framework plugins in the space are doing was not what I thought should be done. Launch flows amplifies what WooCommerce already does with the products and with the pages and with the page builder and the blocks. So instead of having an entire framework of all this complex stuff that makes you commit to whatever that plugin is doing, Launch Flows merely takes the fact you know you already have a checkout page or pages, you know you already have products, you can also make custom thank yous, and now you can create a custom user journey that is arguably dynamic based upon what the person is doing. So. It's light, it's fast, it's simple to set up. It's ridiculously inexpensive, it, you know, compared to everything else, it's a fraction of the cost. And it just lets you do what you need to do, get to the money, offer the buyers the things that they want in the lightest, simplest way possible. Best of all, best of all, remember a moment ago, I was talking about my friend with older sites built on Elementor. Well, Launch Flows launched as an Elementor kind of accessory. Now, Launch Flows is 100% blocks first, cadence blocks in particular. We've got a free pattern library and all the tutorials and training I do, all the live launch kit demos, all of the things we do for consultancy. I just build the stuff. I put it into cadence with cadence blocks, cadence patterns. I save those patterns and I give them away for free. It's just the same old marketing stuff of razor blades and razors. And that's the thing I teach people to do with my other new programs like Your Best Profile. You build a specific solution, borrow one of mine, and you sell it to people who have that specific pain. They could care less what you use to build it. But because it's built with less parts and they're unified and you can keep them in the freezer and pull them out when it's necessary, you save 90%, maybe 80% of the building time, but you get paid 100% of the money. And now you've got this library of stuff that makes you look like a genius, even though, shh, don't tell anybody, you're just playing with Lego blocks. WP Fusion is something that I spend most of my days with because the people who are coming from other SaaS CRMs, the big ones like Salesforce, HubSpot, and Fusionsoft, even like the newer Hot to Trot, ConvertKit, Drip, and so forth, MailChimp, 
They want to connect to WordPress because the box that somebody owns and controls with a WordPress-based membership site built with Cadence and Cadence Blocks is 100% the way to be successful because if you have a box you own and control with 90% of what you need, nobody can take it away. And since day one, that's where I started in WordPress. I had a lot of fun and a lot of drama in Silicon Valley with freemium and with $100 million funded companies that were basically not happy with the fact that, as we see today, uh, people can do creative things when they own and control their own software and they weren't getting their hand in that sort of cookie jar. We see today with Twitter and other spaces how one day you're their friend and one day you're not their friend. Owning and controlling your own business in a box with the standard set of stuff means you only have two, perhaps three outside uh, I'll call them um, connections. One is always going to be your gateway, of course, because you're never going to want to take credit cards internally. So Stripe or PayPal. Two, SMTP. You need in today's world a trusted, you know, third party, I guess they call white labeled service, like a SendGrid, a Mailgun, whatever, Amazon SES. And the third, arguably, is the CRM. So as we'll talk about in a second, if you've already been familiar with a SaaS CRM, you can keep using it. If your client is coming from a big CRM that they got a huge budget, Salesforce is my number one client for that. They just have no idea what's available over here in WordPress. You can connect the WordPress as a service engine to their CRM with WP Fusion and deliver all these features. I have five of these clients today. They are on seven, eight figure kind of revenues with tens tens or hundreds of employees working on stuff. And all they're really using is the same stuff that you can use today for, for like zero to $97 to start because WordPress as software is amazing, but they look at everything like a hammer, uh, a carpenter with a hammer looks at a nail. It's like, it, it must be fixable if we spend more money and have more people, but shh, you can show them how it connects. If you're building for a normal client, a new client, an entrepreneurial client yourself, Use an internal CRM. And then WP Fusion is able to amplify, let's say, the capabilities of what we're going to talk about next, which is your favorite CRM, like Fluent. By using the Fluent plugin, you have an incredibly huge amount of leverage because all the external SaaSes will charge you or your clients an increasing amount of money as the list grows. They are literally taxing you for your success. With Fluent, the plugin is retailing at $129 a year typically on sale for $90, but the point is not to sell this particular one, rather to say it exists as a plugin like the other features, so just put it in the stack. And I would probably say there's few cases I can think of at the moment, maybe one out of 100, where anybody needs an external SaaS CRM to do the things that are necessary for making these membership sites work. And in the process, getting rid of, of course, one more externality, one more outside connection, as well as increasing the value proposition because you went from spending maybe hundreds or thousands a month on an external SaaS with all the back and forth to 129 bucks a year, maybe retail, maybe less if you have a relationship with somebody who is uh, acting as your intermediary. What have we learned today? Besides that I talk really fast to squeeze it all in, keep it simple. You only need that simple recipe. You can use a demo. I have thousands of pieces of content and live events talking about how this is built. My goal, my mission, my thing that I'm carrying the flag on is on this side of the fence, the people who make stuff, the people who market stuff, the people in the echelons of the WordPress decision-making, let's say, I'm saying WordPress as a service, but let's not talk about it even as WordPress. Let's just talk about it as solutions that happen to be available for somebody to own and control that can be launched in minutes and the implementers, the intermediaries, the people who are gonna do the work don't have to code. They don't have to be confused. They don't have to have shiny ball syndrome or Frankenstein monster problems. They can instead just take this formula, take one of the things and just tweak it, tweak it. The TV dinner comes out and you take out the apple pie, you put in the cherry pie. You take out the turkey, you put in the roast beef. But the basic idea of the five things that are available and heating it up and serving it and the value to the client in terms of cost and time are huge. My clients are absolutely thrilled when I can say to them, they can get this incredibly complex site 
built out with a month of just back and forth a couple emails with me or me doing hands-on for less money than they thought it would cost them for maybe a tenth of the budget of, of agencies. I mean, $2,500 to $5,000 will allow you to be hugely profitable by delivering something that costs you $97 a month. That's the premise. And when I do the training and the things uh, from these free calls or from our other coursework, I show people if you're a new freelancer or you're retiring in the Americas or maybe you've been made redundant by the recent layoffs, you can just go out and find people that have these really simple $300 needs and use the same system and sell something to them for $300 today and then be available to do, oh, I'll take care of putting in your email content for you or changing the page content. Maybe you charge them $50 a month, $100 a month. So the new person, the cold lead becomes a warm prospect, becomes a, yeah, 300 bucks, I'll take it, let's go. I need this thing solved today. Then you're into a $1,500 a year recurring revenue relationship because all you're doing is just like putting some new stuff into their Lego block stack. I've done this now for 17 years. Before that, I did it in 40 years of real estate and law and aviation and photography and videography. It's the same thing I've been doing since I was a kid before computers. People want their pain solved. We're all enamored with how cool WordPress is today. Stop being enamored with it. Take this recipe. Start with a free call to me. My number one thing that differentiates me from everyone else in WordPress is I know there are other people who do it. Since day one, I've always been anybody, anywhere, anytime. Call me. Let's talk. I want to learn about you because what has happened with me is the same thing I teach you if you're in one of my courses or if you're using my consultative advice. Human beings in a world of AI need one thing. Human beings, they need a real person with a real face who listens to them, has enough common sense to feed back to them what they're hearing in a way that helps to solve the pain or helps to paint a pretty picture. And all of the tools and the toys and the tchotchkes that are available to the person in our position of listening and helping aren't going to make that job any different from the standpoint of the person trying to talk. So you call me, I will ask questions. I will listen. I will give you advice for free because I'm like the kid in the emperor's new clothes story and you can take it or leave it, but I can back it up with the facts to show it works. And I'm not going to be presenting any details that somebody should imagine they're making seven figures today. But for many people, it would be incredible if I could show you in a couple minutes or with maybe $11 or $20 of, uh, of some coursework, how to make $300 in maybe one or two emails. Because I've done it before, I continue to do it, and I'll continue to do it in the future because that's human beings. So over at WPLaunchify.com, book a free call with me. Take a 30-minute call. We're not going to do an hour, but you never know. It might go an hour. I was referring to a lot of these like ready-to-go things. So WP Launch Club is a reinvigoration. It's just at the cusp of kind of going back to it. For the early days of WordPress, I was associated with firstwebdesigner.com, and we had four or five million visitors a month who were freelance web designers outside the United States, main, mainly in Asia. And they didn't know what to build or how to talk to American companies or clients or entrepreneurs. And in those days, like I said, I taught them how to code. I taught them how to do HTML, CSS, but I also taught them how to present themselves and to market. So the Launch Club is my one of four businesses that bring together all of the training, the teaching, and the new tools for here for nine bucks is how to present your profile. Here for 11 bucks is how to, an email sequence to talk to people, but through email. Here's the deliverable, a launch kit for $97 that you could sell for 300. And the idea is that I can give somebody a value ladder, literally starting at zero, because many people outside the United States are you know, starting out. But even if you are successful in the US, I can show you how to shortcut right to delivering solutions instead of parts, because that is the big thing about WordPress as a service. Parts are no longer important. Yes, it's important to us over here in the column of making this stuff, but even for us, you can see it's all consolidating. Look here with Cadence, Cadence Blocks, Learn Dash, the Events Tickets Plus. We've got everything over in one column in this particular, uh, you know, the Liquid Web Realm and Nexus and so forth. But that's what's happening, just like with the TV channels, right? Disney, Hulu, uh, ESPN, whatever. There's no longer just 57 cable channels. There's just a few verticals that are consolidated. Well, you can make use of that yourself 
by following the system and whether you want to just try it or you want to be successful. This moves up a ladder where, as I suggested, I, on a regular basis, have people who come in for a free call and they walk out with five to $10,000 worth of something that makes them very happy and doesn't take me as much time to deliver as it would if I was, let's say, pulling my wagon with a horse. I want to thank everybody here for listening. I don't know if there's a lot of columns, but I, how did I do on time? I think I did okay, 40 minutes, not too bad. So I'm excited about some questions. You did phenomenal. I could sit here and listen to you forever. And at the beginning of the presentation, you thanked me for being your PR. <laughs> I could thank you for being the PR for Cadence because you definitely make the case for why Cadence is the way to go when you're building a new site with WordPress. And, and we're not alone in that belief. There are plenty of other people. Um, Luis stated that he got divorced from Elementor <laughs> to run away with Cadence. Um, I like the I, metaphor. I think, <laughs> I think by, a lot by the of way, people... in fairness, hold on, in fairness. Yeah. Because let's, I mean, nobody, there's the two goats, right? The, there's Divi and Elementor. But they both are run by smart teams of people, and they both have, like Elvis, left the building to go off and run their own solutions, which is indicative of what I was talking about, which is you can pick which vertical you want to be in, but if you're going to stay here at the core, I'm all in the Cadence team. But not because Elementor or Divi doesn't work. It's just it's a different method now. You, you're at a different level of the Matryoshka doll. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, I mean, I... I thought I still have a few friends that I have to help them extricate themselves to, from Elementor because at the time that was the best known to me solution to giving them the power to build with WordPress, you know, right. just give, giving somebody, you know, a header and a footer and here's where <clears> all <throat> your content goes with the tiny mice, you know, the classic editor, it wasn't working and I needed to be able to help people not ask me to rebuild, you know, HTML pages for them. So Divi first came along and I was, you know, my husband showed me Divi and it's like, look, I don't need to ask you. <laughs> like, Well, you know, by the way, the Divi, the Divi thing is funny because Nick Roach, the founder, yeah. he outlasted most of them. But there was one lesson from Divi, which they have now remediated, perhaps. I don't focus on Divi anymore at all, but we all knew we were, we knew it would happen, but Divi originally put all those custom short codes in to the editor to make the output and then if you wanted to change or migrate there were you couldn't just take the short codes elementor moved forward at least to put real markup in that you could copy paste but both of them now suffer i would say from the redundancy layer right which is if you're familiar with the interface great but like now as i suggested i go back and now using elementor is hard because my muscle memory is conditioned to gutenberg blocks cadence blocks and so forth and so it's just a matter of like choosing the least complicated, least heavy tool that, by the way, and that pattern is a big deal. Being able to just copy patterns live and save them or reuse them is so different than I want to save this as a template and I have to name it and then go find it. And it, it adds up when you really use it. Yeah. Yeah, it does. I, and uh, again, I want to be as native in WordPress as possible. I want it to be as simplified as possible. And you talked a lot about that, about, you know, one of the talks that I've given at so many different WordCamps has been about evaluating plugins. And I kind of took it from like a security standpoint. But the, the fact of the matter is when you choose a plugin, you're you're getting into a relationship, right? And, you know, you don't want that relationship to end in divorce because that can be extremely painful when all of your data is tied up in that particular plugin. Right. So I really liked your model that you talked about, about just, you know, functionally saying that, I think I wrote it down in, in as a comment, but basically, um, I'm trying to, plugins as features, not frameworks. Right. You know, using, it's something that a lot of my friends and colleagues have early days plugins and solutions. And at the time, many of us, like we're just referring to Nick Roach has done incredibly well, but yeah. he committed to like the shortcut thing. And I, I talk about things like Access Alley, Nathalie's solution. Um, there's another plugin that's a CRM that committed to being like a framework. The thing is to each his own. But mm -hmm. what I'm focused on is I have one version in my mind of what WordPress as a service should be. And what it is, is that we forget about how all the parts came to Home Depot and instead we pick the parts. There's one comment I see here, and I like this comment because I love when people challenge or make a point that is, you lost uh, Stanley Kubrick, who by the way, one of my favorite directors. Yeah. I'm so, <laughs> I'm so happy that he's alive again. 
you lost me at not mixing horses with batteries. I'm not sure why, but the idea is like, if you got an electric car, don't try to pull a wagon behind it. But then emphasize using WooCommerce when the prior speaker uh, said he invested a huge time to evolve out of WC to Surecart. Well, so Adam Presser, who's a brilliant marketer, and Sujay Pawar, who is now like legendary from Astra fame, but also was involved in card flows. And now he's, I think, running a VC firm for automatic. They were the ones who invited me to be one of the presenters and speakers and marketers inside of what card flows original training was. And when I first became involved with it, I said to both of them, and then I started publicly speaking about it. This is going to cause a problem. This is essentially like Divi short codes, part two, because it was hijacking what WooCommerce did natively to do the custom upsells and downsells. And I said, I don't like this. This isn't working. And I publicly was like teaching people, well, yeah, you can't use PayPal to do the, well, we all respect each other. So that was the end of my relationship <laughs> with being the promoter of that. And I went out and on a whim in the fall of 2019, just wrote launch flows. And so now three and a half years later, I wrote launch flows to be the thing like WP Fusion from Jack Arturo that is agnostic to breaking the core functionality of another plugin because what happens the day comes, I want to plug it out. What is Surecart? Surecart is Adam's public recognition of the fact that, yeah, you know what? Like uh, I want to own a stack of things that all work together because he's lots sure this, sure that, sure the other. <laughs> and yeah, sure, Cart Flows works over here, but ignore what I said and go over here. And to me, it's not hypocritical, but it's definitely confusing. And you'll never catch me doing that because I'm very careful about the fact that, like I suggested in my uh, promotional, I was the last person to join the Gutenberg party. Uh, Sally from one of the old WP Tonic shows was one you got to go over there. And the reason I, I ultimately came over was the reason I say publicly. When I'm wrong, when something evolves, when it changes, I will be the voice of truth for anyone, whether it affects me personally or not, because I would rather be right and publicly on record as right than to be proud. And so that's the bottom line. Uh, Adam is a genius and an incredible marketer and Sujay the same, but I don't agree with the way they've written some things. And I definitely don't agree with how you're selling A today and then the competitor to A and B tomorrow. That makes no sense to me. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's a lot of different ways to sell online. You know, I mean, is Shopify the best? It, it may be for some people. Um, WooCommerce has been the standard, but maybe it's not the best for, you know, it, and Surecart has a lot of advantages mm -hmm. too. I'm playing with all of them. I'm aware of all of them. But the thing is that I think everybody needs to remember, and I think this is what your presentation really alludes to, is it's your shop. It's your data that data needs to be ownable, needs to be accessible. If WooCommerce, you know, someday goes up in flames, how do right. you migrate to another one? How, how is extensible is it? How, how flexible is it? And how much does it really adhere to that promise of what WordPress is all about, democratizing publishing, and that the fact that you own your platform, you own your data, you own your store. And so, that's all of the that's the things that I would put into the mix of things you need to consider, just like, you know, security is a spectrum um, using open source uh, open source software is a spectrum as well. And you have to decide what your immediate needs are for your store, as well as your long term needs. Where is it going to go? What's it going to be in five years? How much of a commitment are you making to a particular plugin or shopping cart? Whatever. One of the things uh, and. Stanley has responded back. He says something that I alluded to. I call it the WordPress flea market, but that's why this is still challenging for new entrants. Still many different points of view. And you just brought that up. Like this yeah. is yours. So here's what I'm going to say. <clears throat> I spent 25 years uh, renovating buildings in Chicago into luxurious single family homes. But the advantage I had, which was oddly a short lived thing, maybe for 25 years, I guess that's short is that there's only certain numbers of buildings that that can work with. They were too nice to tear down, too expensive to tear down, but too crazy of a project for a normal person. Well, guess what? The reason that I lean so heavily on WooCommerce is WooCommerce should be part of core because as a transactional engine, even if you don't use 90% of it, 
It has all the toys, the tools, the tchotchkes, and all of the hooks into everything else in the ecosystem. Like there's 1,200 things that work with WooCommerce. So you could use one, I won't name anymore, but like you use one of these esoteric little ways of selling, or you just say, or Spence has showed me that like a 747, I'm a pilot, a 747 has a million dials and gauges. I, I fly smaller planes, but I've flown in micro lights that have nothing other than just like a, a compass and a GPS. To fly your own airplane means that if you start with the, this simple setup, you don't have to worry about all the other things that otherwise make WooCommerce so hard. And I want to bring up something as well, because again, this is not, this is like, I'll never make an ad hominem attack against the person, but against the product. WooCommerce as a product, Automatic has started to make moves to embed things in there that upsell this and, and push their stuff that. And that's disheartening to me. And I'm the vocal critic of that because this is ours. This is open source. It's the base level for a free plugin of what should be for everybody, the whiteboard. Just like with Cadence, like Cadence is very diplomatic. There's a, a footer thing that says powered by Cadence. It's very obvious it's there. You turn it off. Great. You don't have to sell Cadence with it. The days are gone where somebody in open source should be pushing their stuff. And that's what bothers me about it. And I'll be the first one to be carrying the torch or the flag or whatever about stop doing that. And if they don't do it, then I'm the first person to make a fix and put a plug in in place or one of my own that, that removes it. And that's the beauty of open source is at the end of the day, nobody cares what's inside the box. The, the clients definitely aren't paying for what's in the box. They care for what they see on the screen. And that what, that's also what excites me because one of the things that this cadence makes possible is an engine. So I make these beautiful sites. And by the way, every single one of my properties, all nine of my properties are built on cadence. They all start with the same engine. But in today's world, we can use tools like Canva or anything to have a link on a pretty page that goes to the engine and puts the product into the checkout. And it, all the rest of the back end stuff is controlled by Cadence and, and the stack, but the front end is just a link attached to anything. That's the modern WordPress because the customers wanna be able to do, oh, let me make my own ad, let me make my own sales page. And they don't wanna necessarily learn how to run WordPress. And that's an exciting thing. So. It is. I mean, as you can tell, it's not the coffee, it's the, I've, been since I was a little kid excited whenever I see something that starts out and it grows into a larger, better thing. But in this case, it blows my mind. When 2006, I got involved, there's like a dozen or two of us hanging around the campfire. And now 40 something, 50% maybe of the internet runs on WordPress. And yet, unlike Microsoft, it's not closed source. Like imagine if we time travel to 1995 and with this stack of stuff, we could say, oh, we can make our own version of Windows 95, you know, and sell it whatever way we want. That's the opportunity we have here with WordPress. Amazing. Yeah. Great. All right. Well, we're, we're cutting down, down on time. Um, got a couple more questions. Um, Fernando is looking for your slide deck. So yes, um, I will either give it to you or it'll be over at WP Launch Club or okay. I mean, you guys are OK with that. Yeah. There's going to be a recording of this and the yes. slide deck will be there as well. For sure. Amazing. And another final question. Juan is curious of what do you like for hosting and how does it help <clears throat> the speed of things? Well, without insulting the host, I will make a <laughs> comment because <laughs> we we know there's a lot of verticals over on your side of this table. I'm going to say this. I'm very close a, a colleague now with Jason Cohen. I've been since he started in 2010, like a, a correspondent, but now he's been on the WP Tonic show and some other things. So there's a lot of big fish in this realm, right? So everything from Nexus and Liquid all the way over to WP Engine, but Cloudways, DigitalOcean, and so forth. What I'm going to say is this. The only thing that matters to me is that the host gives full transparent control over caching, PHP management to the site owner. And without specifying it, I will say I use Cloudways typically through Vulture or DigitalOcean because they treat me like an adult, not like a kid on a school bus. And I've been very vocal about WP Engine with Jason saying, I find it offensive even to this day that I cannot control the fact you're caching stuff for me and I can't do anything other than beg you. And so the bottom line is it's almost like cable service or like a cell phone service today. All of them work. You could go with like a $5 account and you'd probably squeak by. Yeah. But 
you should have a relationship with somebody that gives you the controls and the relationship that work for you. And I know you guys have something going on, which I really love, which is that if somebody buys their, you know, your stack, your package, your cloud, why bother going out and getting your own, you know, hosting, just use what's there. And yeah. I do that myself directly with clients too, because it's a commodity. It really is at this point. Yeah. Yeah. There's so many different hosting um, packages that are available and, you know, we're here to help you amplify your voice and you're going to have to make decisions. We're here to help you make those decisions. You know, the cadence team will provide support about, you know, all kinds of things beyond just cadence blocks or any of the other cadence products. We're here to help you get the help that you need to make the decision that's right for you. But a lot of that is your responsibility, right? When you take ownership of your own presence online, um, with that ownership comes some responsibility, but you know, there's plenty of uh, advisors out here like Spencer. And I'm so glad that you are here today, Spencer. We're going to have to wrap it up because I, thanks for having me. Yeah. I really I need appreciate a it. Couple and, minutes uh, before our next session, but well, and thanks great. everybody for the great questions. And uh, you know, I, I've been banging around with, I know so many people on your side of the fence there too, on your team, but like I've been banging around, like I see in 2023, a further amplification of what we're talking about because we're really simplifying stuff. And I hope that this is the year that WordPress as a service using these stacks of things, including the Cadence stuff, is what makes everybody more money and feel better about whatever they're building for themselves. Amazing. Great. Thanks for being here, Spencer. Where can people find you online? Socials, <clears throat> all that? Everything is Spencer Foreman. Using Cadence, I built my new hub <laughs> at spencerforeman.com. So there's no E in Foreman. Uh, that leads to everything. But all my socials are Spencer Foreman, F-O-R-M-A-N. And uh, I'm on Twitter and LinkedIn mostly, but also on Facebook a lot. And uh, I hope that anybody will, who wants to will have a free call with me and we can talk about what they're up to. Maybe I've got a solution for them as well. Amazing. Thank you for being here and sharing so much knowledge. I'm just so grateful. Thank you. See you guys soon.